Hello, I'm Kevin Kennedy, and today I'm going to talk about one of my books, What's in Your Stable? Everything I Learned About Business, I Learned from Horses. Wow, that's a very interesting title, and it was unique. One of my friends used to say, Kevin, there's riches in niches. I heard him say it. So you have to take what God's given you, and can you take it to another level? In this book, I was actually working on another book, and I'd been working on it, and in the middle of the other work, this idea broke out. As I told you, I always have a team of advisors working with me when I get ready to publish a book, editors. And I like to kick ideas backwards and forwards. And when we were there, we heard that idea. It exploded. We put the other book down and full forces went for this one. Why? Boy, it was power packed. So uh, in the business formulas, this one went to a whole new uh, level of business formulas. So what's in your stable? If you look at the front cover, this is a picture of my house. So much of my life has been inspiration. Now they say men are moved from two things, desperation or inspiration. I hope this book will move you to inspiration. When I look at the front cover, it kind of captured my dreams when I was a little boy. I always wanted to have an antebellum home. And as you can see, I went to the Hermitage, and that was Andrew Jackson's home, and it was beautiful, and I was inspired. Just a little boy. I was grateful my mother took me, planted the seeds in my mind. Then, of course, I always loved Elvis. Elvis was a fascinating man, unbelievable. We talk about him all over the world. And even when I took some trips, they were still playing Elvis in countries they don't speak English. And uh, Graceland, I said, wow. Also, Elvis, uh, he loved Rolls Royce, and I did too. So there was a picture there. I always wanted the picture of these big bronze horses. And so this picture captured some of the dreams fulfilled. Now, really, what is the theory behind this book? Well, let me just give you just a little insight. What does your business have? First, you should identify the horses. One of the things that I said, if your business doesn't have this kind of horse, you need to regroup and look at it. First off, every business needs a show horse. What is a show horse? One that everybody's fascinated with. Everybody likes to come to. It draws people in. And if you don't have one, you ought to try to get one. These are formulas for success. How about the next horse? Everybody ought to have a race horse. They ought to be in your stable. They ought to be faster than the competition because if you're not, the others win all the races and you come up short. Well, let's think about what other kind of horse can we have? Well, do you have a gentle horse? I submit to you, gentle people in the workplace are always will have a place. They're kind. And so think about that. And uh, what about the old-fashioned workhorse? Man, when you get a project, somebody's got to do the work. And there's nothing like the old steady hand of a workhorse. Now, I flipped the corn over, and you said, well, what about the carousel horse? Well, you know, there's some horses that just go around in circles, and they never get anything done. What about the stick horse? Well, you put him over there in the corner, and he won't do anything unless somebody picks him up and makes him do. Well, as you can see, this book is loaded with illustrations like that. So what you need to look at is take a look at your organization. Do you have those kind of horses? The theory behind it is ingenious. And uh, as I thought about this, uh, how about the lead horse? Every business needs a lead. And if you'll watch your old westerns, they always take the lead horse and put it at the stagecoach at the front because they will lead out. You know, sometimes we talk about focus. And if you've ever seen any of those horses, they put blinders on those horses so they're not distracted. Do you have a horse that will focus on the assignment that is at hand. So with this book, I, I absolutely love it. It's illustrated. My life has been full of horses. Uh, my life has been blessed because of horses. Uh, and I've loved uh, to entertain and share horses. So what's in your stable? I want you to take a hard look. If you get a chance to get a copy of this book, it's got some of the greatest business formulas I ever knew. So God bless you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to share with you what's in your stable. And I'm Kevin Kennedy.